I'm with one of the principal investigators on the Huggins mission. This is Professor John Zarnecki. John, you must be quite excited by all this. What are the most exciting results? Well, we've just received some of the latest images from the probe, and I'd like to take a look at them here. Right. Here's one of them. This is a panoramic view, 360 degrees view around the probe. This is because the camera takes snapshots and the probe is spinning slowly. As it falls. As it falls. So if we put together a sequence of these snapshots, we can build up this So these panorama. are all separate shots, all stuck together. That's right, stuck together. And, I mean, it's just amazing. We're seeing tremendous variation here. Here's a, a, a dark region. Here, much, much lighter. It seems rather featureless, perhaps rather flat. And then look, these white, wispy features all over the place. Are those clouds or, or, or mist or fog? They seem rather indicative of that, don't you think so? It, it looks like it looks like clouds over a mountain. Absolutely. So I think there's no doubt at all we're seeing weather, we're seeing meteorology here with some similarities to what happens on Earth. Now, we've got a close-up of this region here. If we go right. to the next, next right. image, there it is. Now, you could almost be fooled into thinking that that is a view taken out of a plane window coming into land yeah, somewhere absolutely this dark flat uh, region here is this the, the the sea or the lake of, of liquid methane that scientists have talked about for so long on titan this area here clearly shows topography variation in it must in, it's in getting height. higher i mean that's almost like a cliff there yeah, isn't it absolutely and with the clouds hanging over the uh, uh, the cliffs perhaps as the the atmosphere is being forced up um, it's just tremendous. And we've seen in another image in this area here some features which look very much like drainage or runoff channels. So very good indication that at some time, maybe not now, there's been fluid flowing down through this region. Streams or, or rivers, Streams or maybe runoff from rain, right. uh, liquid ethane rain, which has fallen onto this surface. But that means it must be relatively recent, because otherwise it would be wiped out by craters, wouldn't it? Uh, that's absolutely right. So it's clear that there is activity recently on the astronomical timescale. Right. And then we've also got the one that I really love. This is an image taken after the probe landed. Okay. So this is looking around at the environment around the probe uh, on the surface of Titan. And we're seeing here uh, things... The, this is false colour, right? This is the black and white. This, and, right. that's, that's correct. And we're seeing these objects here which have the size of, of small boulders or, or pebbles. Now these numbers here are their sizes in, in centimetres. This one here you can see 15 centimetres. That's about about the size of this piece yes, of paper. That, that's yes. right. And we can see tremendous variation even in these. We've got some which are rather smooth, rather round. Uh, and one asks, what is it? What are the processes that have caused this, this smoothing? And this one here is quite different. It seems more angular. It's, it's also much brighter than the others. White, maybe. Ice, snowballs. So, all right, if, if that's ice, and that would make sense because it's white, what's this dark stuff behind? Hmm, well, that's the, for want of a better word, the soil that the, the, the pebbles are sitting on. Um, now, tell me, you had a tilt meter on your machine. Is it, is it flat here? Well, the probe is resting. Its final resting angle is about 12 degrees from the horizontal. So pretty close. P pretty close, but it's probably resting on one of these pebbles, and so it's just tilted so slightly. So this, this looks like a flat, like a beach or something? Yeah, a beach, a riverbed, I mean, but we have to be careful about using those terms, comparing with, with what we know on Earth. Fantastic. It's going to take years to work this out, isn't it? That just is... wonderful. And of course, we've only seen a fraction of, of the images that we know that are stored. <laughs>